Hello, everyone. My name is Paul. I am one of the TAs for the course this semester. I just wanted to make this quick video on how to apply for a student license for JetBrains products. So JetBrains gives a student license to anyone that can prove they're a student. Uh, they offer a number of IDEs, some of those you can see up there on the screen. And I would recommend that for this class, you use uh, IntelliJ IDEA, which is a Java IDE. So you can download their IDE with 30 day free trial if necessary. Um, here, uh, you should just be able to find this with a Google search. For the student license, which will give you access to all of these products, uh, as long as you are a student, you just want to Google, I Googled IntelliJ IDEA student license, something along those lines, get you to this link that says free educational licenses. This is what it should look like at the top there. You just want to scroll down and make sure you're on the for students and teachers tab. Hit that apply now button and it should take you to a page that looks like this, where you're going to just fill out some proof that uh, proves you're a student. And I believe probably the best way would be the official documentation, um, although it does come with a warning that it takes up to two weeks to process. So just be aware of that. I will say I can't speak from personal experience how long it actually takes when I went through this process, I wasn't sure how to uh, get uh, official documentation that I was a student. So uh, I wasn't in a extremely a bad position where I needed this IDE. So I just used another one in the meantime um, until I was able to find proof. Uh, so when I first applied, this is what they emailed me. They said, please provide us with the proof. I wasn't able to until you know, sometime later, uh, when I was able to provide proof through the method that I'll show you guys today, uh, I just emailed them that, and then they emailed me back within a pretty short amount of time with the license, and then I was good to use all their products. So that said, for the proof, one way to get it would be to go through this method. So through your My ASU page uh, under your classes, go to transcripts and test scores, and there's the enrollment verification, and you just fill this out, um, and it'll give you a PDF that show, uh, obviously proves that you're enrolled at the university. So, and that should be enough um, for them to approve your license. Um, but in the meantime, you should be able to download the IDE um, if necessary, and I believe this won't be the first time I open this up, but I believe the first time you open it up, it should ask you um, for a license. It'll be a little window that'll pop up asking you for a license. And I think one way to do it is to log in to your JetBrains account, um, which is where you would put in your student license when you uh, get that. So that's going to be it for this video. In another video, I'll go through how to make a new project, um, and then we'll do a little bit of coding. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.